what's up programmers welcome back so today we are going to be starting a new series on our channel now this series will comprise of the advanced concept of the C for this series we expect you to know the basics really the basics if you don't really know anything about C you should check out our previous uh, playlist which explains the basics now today we'll be starting with structures now uh, before I tell you what our structures I'm gonna demonstrate with example how this structure came into picture and how is it useful so say suppose you have been given a project now you have to manage few students okay now these students have three values that is they have a name they have roll number and they have age okay so now now I tell you that you are uh, given three students and for three students you have to manage this okay so the primitive approach that you might think of right now is using arrays okay now so using arrays how can you do it now we'll create three arrays one will contain name other will contain your roll number and the last will contain your age okay so you'll fill this with the details of the students say suppose Bob Alice and Kevin are there and their respective roll numbers and their respective age now if you see closely uh, you see that you are using three arrays over here right now managing three arrays is very difficult to program okay so now to to avoid this difficulty and a problem structure came into picture now let's look uh, how uh, the structure will provide us an advantage now this is a structure which is of student okay so now it will contain your name roll number and your age now if you see closely uh, the box of the student is larger and inside them I have shown name roll number and age now this is the basic concept behind structure like you have a, a structure is like you can consider it to be a container containing many different fields and grouping them together okay so now using the structure we have bo uh, na name roll number and age and inside those v we can insert the values okay so this is what a structure is basically okay so now I have shown you how the structure looks like now let take a look at what is st structure in terms of some uh, which will make you understand it more clearly now a structure is basically a custom data type now what do I mean by custom data type in the past we have studied the basic data types like your int float double and care okay so these are primitive data types now uh, what a structure is structure you can consider to be a basically a secondary data type or a custom data type now say suppose I want to create a structure for students now this is taken from the previous example where I have structure of students which con uh, contain the name roll number and age okay now say suppose if I want to go even further let's take another example and look at it now if I want to create a book okay so structure I'll create a structure of book it will contain three things that is title author and subjects and then you can fill them with the respective values okay so now let's jump into the code and see how do we declare this structure and how does it make our life easier so I've just written down few basic stuff over here now we look at declaration of a structure okay so to declare a structure you need to use the keyword struct okay this keyword struct will tell the compiler that you want to create a custom data type now after the keyword struct you need to give it a name now what do you want to call it okay so we'll call it student and then you have curly braces now inside this structure you'll put all those data types which are necessary to describe your structure now a student is described by three things that is the name roll number and his age okay so I'll just put name which will be a character array then we ne also need roll number and the age now if you see the uh, dev C++ has already put the semicolon for us please do not forget to push, uh, put this semicolon or else it will give you an error now this is how you define a structure now we have successfully created our first structure whose name is student and who ha who can be described by three things that is the name roll number and age and with their respective data types okay so now I created a structure now how do I create a variable of this structure now to create a variable the syntax for it looks something like this okay so uh, first we specified struct student okay now this tells the compiler that we want to create a variable 
of data type struct student okay and then we'll give it a name say suppose s1 okay so now this is how we successfully create our struct variable now how do we populate it that is how do we initialize it now to initialize it what we can do there is a simple method to initialize it which i'll show right now inside the curly braces we'll write down the values which we want to insert in the same order that we have declared that's name roll number and age so, so say suppose i want to put the name as bob so i'll enter a string saying bob i'll enter his roll number which is 3 and his age which is 15 okay so now i have successfully created a variable and initialized it to some values now how to access this variable say suppose i want to print the values that are contained in our student s1 so what uh, for it what i'll do i'll create a printf statement okay so i just created a printf statement now to to print the name what we need to do we need to use the variable that is our s1 okay and in s1 what do we want to print do we want to print the name roll number or age we want to print the name right so i'll just put a dot name now this will print name on the screen okay so for any variable that you want to access inside a structure say roll number we'll just put over here roll number s1 dot roll number age then s1 dot age now this is how you do it for roll number and age i've just written a printf statement and use s1 dot roll and s1 dot age now this is the way you can access the variables of the struct now let's compile and run this So as you can see, it prints out name is Bob, roll number is 3 and the age is 15. Now this is how the structure works. Now let's take a look at how to dynamically initialize this structure say from the user. So for it, I'll just instead of initializing it directly over here, what I'll do is I'll just create a variable here using this syntax. And now what I'll do, I'll run, I'll ask the user for input okay so I just printed enter your name now I'll just scan the input from the user now f name is in the format of a string so we'll take the string from the user so we want to put the name inside our s1 variable right so to do this we'll write s1 dot name now this whatever the user enters will be inserted inside the name now the same thing can be done for our roll number and age now for the roll number we'll take the input in the same way that is s1 dot roll now if you closely observe for string i have not used your address operator and for roll number i have used it i hope this is clear this comes from the basics of c so if you don't remember please go and look into the pointers lecture where it is explained now we'll do the same for our age and we'll put the input into our s1 dot age so th in this way we have successfully initialized our struct element dynamically now let's compile and see if we have any errors so no errors and our program is running successfully now it's asking for a name so let's enter Alice Alice her roll number say 2 and her age is say 15 okay so as you can see the input has successfully stored in our structure variable and we can we have printed this so that's it for this tutorial it was basic introduction to structure now we'll get slightly more advanced in the next lecture uh, now as this is a new series we need your suggestions please do provide your suggestions in the comment box below and please do like our video subscribe to our channel you can also follow us on facebook and look into our blog on uh, on the we the computer guys dot com thank you